What's going on guys, World War 2 Kitty Hawk here. Um, I just wanted to show a little uh, bit of gameplay that I, I had in um, Paradise Resort. Um, I come across uh, multiple squads and it was just me and this last guy left and I just wanted to show my sort of strategies on uh, what I do uh, to survive in Paradise. Uh, as you can see this little part here, I potato a lot because I was using the can sites, so I'm not really good with the use, using the can sites, I don't use it that often. But uh, yeah, if you, if you just watch and observe and just see what I've done, I was just um, hiding on the outskirts and um, just listening to gun sounds and um, as I was sitting behind this rock, I noticed there's a guy there, so I was able to take him out quite easily. He was trying to escape the guy that was chasing him, which was that guy there. So um, I just waited here and uh, took my time. My other teammate was, uh, he was pretty decent. He was a little bit aggressive. Uh, he he was he had his mic on, but I think he was just a little kid. He was just a random player. So uh, I was sort of listening to see what it, um, gunshots were going to happen and see if he would... Um, sort of give me the information I needed to know where the enemies are so as you see right here I sort of potatoed on this guy I had limited health and no scopes and the AKM uh, there's my teammate he's just gone down just then so I knew I had to take this guy out this guy was sort of looking for me but luckily he ran past me he didn't know exactly where I was so I was able to take him out as I was reloading I was uh, noticed there's more gun sh um, shots uh, in this vicinity so I was just very careful because I knew my teammate was killed here so I just stayed on the outskirt and had a little peek to see if there's anyone there so I didn't see anyone so I thought it might be safe for me to start looting so I needed medication and uh, I needed um, some ammo for my guns so uh, that's what I did I just picked up everything I needed and healed and just hoped that um, no one would notice where I am I was still a bit worried so um, I w wanted to check to see if those guys had heard the gunshots of me killing the guy with the Tommy so I knew I'd killed that first guy up here so I wanted to go and check his uh, crate just to see if he had any extra goodies for me. My next plan of attack was to suss out where this other squad was because I needed their um, uh, weapons and their medication. I saw one guy here. I wasn't sure if there's only one guy here, so um, I just decided to engage, even though I didn't know if he had teammates. But um, I just wanted to kill these dudes here so I could, um, you know, loot them. But unfortunately, there was a whole squad here, so I decided to move. I didn't want to stick around and fight these guys because, um, you know, if they spread out and got position on me, I'd, you know, I'd have no chance. So I decided to get to higher ground and see if I could pick them off from the top. The AKM at range of no sight is quite a difficult weapon to track people with. There was a guy right there down below, but then I noticed there was a guy on the corner and he was flanking right. So I got a little bit worried about that guy uh, because when I was looking down, to, I was almost going to peek my head to kill that guy, but that um, the guy that was directly below me, but there was a guy that was peeking on that corner. So I was really worried about that guy because he seemed to know what he was doing and I had lim limited medication so I decided to get up here and hide and see if I could actually take him out um, without being spotted. Now a lot of players don't know about this little trick but uh, it's very risky because if they spot you up here you're going to see how he, he looked up looking for me but he couldn't find me so I just thought I'd bide my time and see if he'd come back and just be patient. I noticed he knew that I was in this area, but he wasn't too sure. He didn't want to risk uh, exposing himself as well. So I went into first person just to make sure they couldn't see my head. And as you can see, it's a good advantage point to spot where they are. See, I, it's very tempting to for me to start shooting the guy now, but I, I wanted him to get separated from his teammates. So if you look at the back, He's got his teammate right behind him, and I didn't want to start shooting and his teammate see me and kill me, so I wanted them to sort of separate a bit and then quickly take him out as quickly as possible. So luckily these trees gave me a little bit of cover. Uh, if the guy had a known where to look for, if he had good uh, directional uh, sound location, like if he could you know, locate where, where I was uh, a lot better than what he did, uh, 
uh, he would have been able to take me out. They did sort of know where I was, but they still didn't know where I was, so I used this opportunity to take him out from cover here. So, uh, fortunately for me, this other guy was a bit of a potato. I was able to outsmart this guy too. See, he still didn't know where I was, and by then he was really hurt, so all I had to do, even though I was at half health, was just jump down and finish him off while he's trying to heal. But yeah, I thought I'd give them a little tea bag because it was quite fun how I'd done that, outsmarted. Had all the odds stacked against me, but still was able to uh, take out the squad. So that was my little strategy for uh, Paradise. Um, I usually just use little strats like that to take out um, squads and even the numbers because it can be quite challenging and tough. That's a good thing about Paradise is uh, there's lots of different places you can uh, peek from cover and, and um, take them out. So anyways, guys, I just thought I'd show this little play. I thought it was quite cool. So anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, cheers until next time. Peace.